The quarterly economic bulletin flags much lower than expected revenue for the government for this year. The IMF forecast for oil and gas prices at 42 and 9.5 US dollars is lower than the government forecast of 60 and 12 US dollars. In light of this, Governor Loy Bakani said it is crucial for the government to review and reprioritize government expenditure to minimize the impact of inflation on the economy. INA Director Paul Baca shares some of those views. But it is critically important that during this whole process that they don't cut back on, on the priority human resource investment and maintenance, etc. Governor Bakani also cautioned against more government borrowings which to date stands at 16.9 billion kina. Bakani and Baka both emphasize that if there will be any more borrowings, this borrowing should be spent on quality investments in the areas of agriculture, tourism and manufacturing. It, nothing wrong with a level of uh, budget deficit, but it's any deficit has got to go into to real priority expenditure. And... Um, and it's got to be seen as a time of opportunity to focus on uh, enabling those parts of the economy to, uh, that need to be growing. Baka said the government should not repeat the mistakes of the 1990s where priority areas such as education were neglected. They defer expenditure or they just undermine future human resource development and, uh, and undermine the prospects both economically and socially for Papua New Guinea into the future. Yesterday, Finance Secretary Ken Nangan said due to the low revenue flow, the government department will impose stringent measures to control government spending for this year. We take it that given the current environment, it's a tight fiscal space. So whatever that comes in the tight fiscal space, we also apply our tight strategies to manage the uh, cash flow. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.